So, against my better judgment, I'm in Roppongi on Halloween. I'm fucking tired. I was moshing all day at Loud Park, Children at Bottom and bands like that. But, yeah, no, my buddy twisted my rubber arm and now I'm here. So take a look. Where I come from, Halloween isn't big at all. Not at all. Southern Hemisphere, no one really cares, and it's not something you can really do in South Africa, to be honest. In Japan, however, as you can see, people have taken to Halloween in a big way. Younger kids, of course, do the f trick or treating and, and whatnot, and as as the uh, the Hollywood movies dictate, kids should participate and enjoy Halloween, their Halloween parties and whatnot. But for the Older kids that uh, like to gather in places like Roppongi and Shibuya and Kabukicho. The theme is slightly different. Ladies, as you can see, are out to wear as little as possible and show off as much as possible. The guys, sadly you don't see so many over here. The guys generally don't dress up as much, but those who do really go all out and they've got some amazing costumes. So, you know, Japan's really taken to the whole dressing up thing. I suppose it's a way that you can sort of not quite be yourself, which is something everyone likes to do, I suppose. But, um, yeah, I think it's just uh, a combination of uh, a good time and good marketing. Something you'll see crop up a lot when, when I talk about things in Japan. It's, it's the marketing. It's such a commercial society and uh, you know any any sort of holiday, any sort of thing that you can sell to people really well often sells really well in Japan and, and, and Halloween's one of them. I mean these lovely, lovely minimal costumes that you see all the ladies here wearing like that Snow White and the nurse over here. Oh, even that, that cat that's attacking those girls over there. They cost a fortune. It's not cheap. Anything over 8,000 yen. Some of the better quality ones, which aren't really all that good quality, still cost a fortune, not to mention makeup and all of that. Then you're still in a party, right? You're out at the club, you're meeting people, you're drinking. So it adds up. So in the end, I'd say that's probably the real drive behind pushing Halloween. That said, if you got the cash and, and you're in, in Tokyo in Halloween, well, you're going to have some fun. Make sure you check out Roppongi or uh, Shibuya or Kabukicho for that matter. But yeah, definitely, definitely. Halloween, Japan, for the win. <laughs>